Asperger's syndrome, the highest functioning end of the autism spectrum. Autism affects the brains of some people. It makes it difficult to talk to other people and to form relationships with them. It ranges from slight to severe. This range is known as the autism spectrum. Asperger's syndrome is the least severe form of autism. Children with Asperger's often have excellent language skills and may be very good in school. Often, their condition is not recognized for many years. However, their social skills can make interacting in school difficult. Areas of high ability. Children with Asperger's may be very good at certain things, even though they lack some other skills. They may be unusually good at math or have other special skills. I am a teacher of students with autism. I had one student with Asperger's who could tell you what day of the week your birthday would be in five or 10 years. He could figure it out very quickly without looking at a calendar. Students with Asperger's may also have very deep knowledge about a specific topic such as dinosaurs or movies. Social deficiency. Autistic children sometimes have trouble recognizing and understanding other people's feelings, moods, and thoughts. When they are very young, most children learn to respond to their parents' expressions and moods. Autistic children do not. Children with Asperger's often want to develop relationships, especially with others their age. However, they, might, they may find it difficult to form friendships. They have trouble telling what other people what others are thinking or feeling and do not know how to react to what people say or do. Children with autism may be taught how to manage their own emotions. Angry outbursts are common among young children with Asperger's. They become angry because they do not know how to tell their parents or others what they want and how they are feeling. Students with Asperger's are often told to use their words instead of becoming angry. This can help to express their wants and needs clearly and calmly. Executive function deficiency. Children with Asperger's may have trouble planning ahead. They may struggle to think through the steps needed to complete a specific task. Most have trouble thinking far ahead enough to plan for their future. Because these children are often very smart, they may be able to do well in school anyway. However, their problem can catch up with them later in life. They may not find a good job after finishing school or even manage to leave home simply because they never learned to set a goal and plan for the future. Academic deficiency. Students with Asperger's are often very good at certain subjects while having a trouble with some other subjects. Some have problems in all their classes. English. Many children with Asperger's have good reading skills and know many words. However, they may still have trouble in English class. It can be hard for them to answer certain questions. They can easily remember and describe what happens in something they have read. However, they will have trouble explaining why something was a good or bad idea or how they would feel if they were one of the characters in the reading. Students with Asperger's often find it right, find writing difficult. They may have trouble remembering how to spell certain words. They may forget how to use periods or commas or how to use capital letters. Math. Some autistic children are extremely good at math. They can memorize math facts quickly and solve problems easily. Other children may struggle with learning math facts. In each case, teachers need to learn to recognize a student's strengths and needs. They will then be able to help the student overcome his or her challenges. Jerry Webster has spent 24 years as a general education teacher, substitute teacher, and special education teacher. Webster has taught everything from preschool early intervention to high school German, elementary strings to autistic support.